Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the two against uh, the Overlords campaign. Uh, Tapcat and I am still at it. And I will pull a little sneaky one on this one. I know we do have a uh, mission going, but I decide, you know what? I want to fight the uh, Warlock, so that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to go in against uh, the Warlock, who, by the way, is... Um, susceptible against uh, reapers i think so let's get uh, mm, shadow in here as well that's going to be an interesting one uh we will go in with hogbite specter shadow wolfhound mad dog and implacable uh difficult mission in itself but if we pull it off the warlock will be down for good um, the downside of it is uh, Tapcat will need to do the other mission immediately and depending on how this mission goes maybe some of our guys are going to be in the med bay. All right, let's go. Remember why you're here. <coughs> All right. No what uh, excuse me? Energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Good, yeah. that's where we What? We came in and Okay, we apparently came in and immediately... Uh, that is annoying. We came in and immediately got... Uh, got, uh, trigger, uh, got triggered with another pack. Good, so one of them is down. The other one looks like a mutant... like a mutant uh, prime yep mutant prime Enemy going with down. suppression gotta take that one a bit more serious uh, can't use uh, the can't use the juicy uh, mine there instead we're going to remove cover, shred him. He will get a reaction, but we will get one as well. Good hit. Fantastic hit. Down to six points. Okay. Well, listen. That could be a kill. It was not. Moving over here. And that should be a kill. Alright, wish we could have used Talkbite for any of uh, the melee activities, but not against a mutant prime they unfortunately retaliate quite well so this was just a nice little starter pack sniper moves over we're letting the others move over as well Medic begins to move over. And Hogbite gets ready. Reload here. Bracing. Okay. We can scout ahead, but we cannot scout ahead if we're still in the starter room. Okay, more reload, overwatch, we're not going to use our free reloads yet, reload wherever needed, and a lot of overwatch. Okay, cool. So this might trigger. Uh, luckily it did not, so might as well move in.
and as you order, might as well Commander. move over here. Nothing, really. Okay, it appears that someone has opened that door. Seems doable. Sniper braces. Hogbite moves in. I'm on it. Getting a good position here. Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. Very good. Alright. If they would move to here, we had a perfect remote start. Moving into full cover over here, implacable, and we're good. <clears throat> oh yeah, oh yeah guys, please position yourself, oh thank you. That would be 12 points of damage right there. You do not deserve the Elder's attentions. Eh, I don't want to destroy, uh, use the Claymore yet. We're just Our world is dangerous. going to hit all of them. Very good. More Overwatch. All right, lightning reflex has saved him there. And our poor overwood shots, of course. Fabulous. Do these guys have, um, do they have, do they have sustenance? Maybe. I will go into, uh, into taking cover here. Good. Silent killer prevents us from creating any noise here. All right, come on, keep it going. Good, starting to get the captain down. Nice little shredding, down to 12 hit points. And almost that, which is exactly where Hogbite is coming in. Nice. That's two focus for the price of one. And we're going to parry. Full cover over here. Um, okay. Well, we'll found. Let's hit this guy. All right, didn't work out. Suppressing both of them. 
which will reduce their aim chance but also their abilities. Not a problem. Implacable moves over, can't see anyone but still okay and I would like to lead the target on the shield bearer. Lighting reflexes. The elders will sue me. The fire is getting worse. For only when you fall, XCOM, shall your race be saved. An entire world. Good. Moving into a flanking position. Implacable got this. Nice little hit on the Inquisitor. Okay. Got some shredding there too. Hawkbite finally upgrades his focus to three. That's good. Parrying again. Okay, we're reloading here and are keeping this guy busy. <clears throat> Unfortunately, missed shot. Moving up. Is Hogpied immune to explosions? Uh, no. Nice try though. Well, in that case, we're just going to shoot, I suppose. We had a couple of backup plans to get those guys down. But I'm always trying to be as resource efficient as possible. Ross moves up. Continuing to move in deeper. Nothing spotted, which is good. Which then brings us to all of the other guys. Starting to move in. Good. How much longer must I endure your sacrilege? If it is peace you want, I shall We're continuing to move forward. I would like to see what's behind that door. There is an archon over here, okay. And we can definitely move in further. Lots of enemies, and this is where we need to be. Okay, good. It's far, but I can reach it. Question is, is it that's a quadruple pet, uh, pack of archons? If we open this, they will spawn. So maybe just coming from here is the better idea. It's a typical XCOM trap card. Got if you it. don't know about it, you're immediately pulling two packs with without okay. it really being your fault. Reaper helps in that regard because it takes away the problem of not knowing where the enemy is. Let's do a bit of a trick here. We're closing the door again. And then moving up. It's good. Which allows us to position our sniper over there. Wolfhound over there. 
that and that and that. Reloading again, Overwatch. And I think we're ready for that pack. Curious por uh, part, by the way, part two, is we can make sure that we're only hitting one pack by closing this door next turn. It's a little uh, tricks that will save you resources in the long run. Good. Um, I think we're actually in a decent position here. This might like even be better. Not sure why we can still see them. The door might be one of those doors which continuously is bugged. Now we wait. Perfect pack for Claymore attack. Softens them up. They don't know where we are. Yeah. That's the XCOM engine unfortunately cheating a bit. Or a bit more. Okay. <laughs> Tell you what, um, amplify, yes, please. Uh, I don't want to use other uh, means yet. No team working either, I don't like that yet. Um, What we can do though is move in, aggressively use the mine just for some extra damage. We oftentimes cannot use them very well. There is the amplified damage. Hogbite moves over here to get out of the explosion radius. Regains his focus, and one of them is successfully down. I'm away. Moving over here. Good chance of taking this guy out completely. Very good. <clears throat> That's crowd control right there. And we're moving in. Set him up. Seven points of damage. The explosion won't kill him fully. Hmm. In which case, we're taking a mimic beacon. I don't want to move in order to lose uh, my brace. But we're moving over here to get some extra blade storm going. Uh, 
There's the extra 5 damage from the mine. There's the extra 6 damage from the blade storm. 9 damage, sorry. Good. Very good. Um, time to get the remaining Archons down. Just shoot this guy. 94% unfortunately missed. Moving over. Uh, 12 points. I think, yeah, we we'll just need to hit him. And then we're good. 100% chance. Now that he is marked. Good. Parrying. Overwatch. And there is another pack um, to our right. <clears throat> Gotta be careful with that. We don't want to trigger them. There is likely another pack to the front. Getting back into the shadows. I go where you tell me. Uh, difficult. I'm going to play this a bit greedy by actually moving in further. Careful here, there's a see-through hole. We don't want to trigger accidentally. Reload. Let's reload. Overwatch, Overwatch. Well, and we're being hit from the side. One of the Vipers immediately regretted their life choices. Mind you, I haven't left the flank open uh, for them to immediately come in. Uh, so when they were opening the door, these guys were out of range. Uh, just as a bit of an explanation of why I was comfortable with the setup. Move up. Kill the Viper. Good hit. I like it. Well done, Implacable. But takes out uh, that Viper. All right, problem solved. I don't want to deal with extra damage. Question is, do I want to give away the grenade? I don't want to do that either. Decent chances of actually hitting this guy. On the 
And I do have an idea. Defensive mines, if you use them aggressively, are actually not too bad. Should be called aggressive mines. Okay, even if that would have missed, uh, we would have still gotten the kill with the mine. Valerium core isn't bad. Okay. Looks like we found our way out of here. I am trusting. Uh, there's not even a pack in here. <clears throat> Very interesting. No need to ask twice. Scanning. Good. No more enemies. Will do. Which no means need. everybody can move All towards the exit zone. Good, end of turn. <coughs> I'm on it. Heading out. Double time. Good, we're going to reload and wait for cooldowns to come back up. Reload, reload. Even if you do have auto loaders, they reset uh, with progression into different areas. So every cooldown is ready, and we're using the ascension gate. Well done, Menace One Five. See you on the other side. Very nice. We're in the belly of the beast now, people. Proceed carefully. We're going to proceed carefully. What is that? Some kind of stasis chamber for the chosen? No wonder they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. Very good. Oh, come on. Come to me. Like a moth to a flame will you be consumed by my brilliance. Oh, come on. Well, for starters, we don't want to use grenades here. On your order. Instead, we're moving in, trying to get that Berserk down first and foremost. Nice little 90% shot miss. Down to 9 hit points. Sounds like a job for Implacable. Who just directly executes him? For my In the meantime, Hogbite moves forward, parries. I am at your service. And we're taking high ground. Not a hundred percent hit, so we're not going to take it. Rather let the blade storm do its uh, thing. Okay, so moving forward. Anti matter rifle, wolfhound goes up there. You were not supposed to spawn already. All right. We faced these things before and we can do it again. That's no not good. Today, only one side is leaving this place alive. At last the humans speak the truth. Frag out. Good. Let's remove his cover and his armor.
Um, yeah, we're just going to go as close as possible and still stay in cover. Same deal here. I wasn't expecting him to already spawn. Listen, we could banish, but I think I'd rather keep that. Yeah, first of all, we don't have an extended magazine, so that's a no-no to begin with. Might as well sting him. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. I was under the impression we have not installed any of uh, the Hive mods. So this year is a bit surprising to see Acid uh, Chrysalids coming in and Hunters. Well, well, well. Okay, let's do a couple of things, shall we? For starters, I think the Warlock needs amplification. Can all agree on that? Yes. Then... We're not triggering Overwatch, might as well move down. Remove his Overwatch. And put a parry here. We're then moving forward. Getting that big boy down, almost, at least. Last plasma grenade, might not be the worst idea. Almost gets a two for one. And we'll get that guy down. Okay, cool. He can teleport. My concern is healing Hogbite. to go with the healing here uh, with an extra action rather warlock takes more damage occupied continues to damage him, regains even his uh, focus, which is good. We're moving over here. Hogbot does have parry. Might as well position himself over here into a flankable position. We're adrenaline rushing into healing so that the acid damage doesn't continue. Uh, we could try to hit him. That could trigger an execution, which I actually don't want. Now we're overwatching. Oh, 
Moving over here. And that's a 50-50 on getting revealed. But it's definitely a good piece of damage. Doesn't matter that we're being revealed, we anyways need to deal damage. The reason why I let him live is I really want to make sure uh, that we have the maximum time to work on the sarcophagus. There is new amplification. Filling uh, our focus back up. Moving over here, I want to get to the right hand side soon. Good. Well, he's down. Now it's time to go for the actual target, right? We have a free reload, so that's not even a problem. Moves over here. Start hitting with 80 hit points to chew through. I'm on it. Definitely want to be in range. Okay, 60 left. Come on. Very nice. So we're down to 50. Six, seven, four to seven. Hmm. Now we're going with our sniper. In the meantime, we're seeing an Archon pop in. Okay, fair enough. They're moving the They're moving the side. And we're seeing a, uh, that's a Fire Viper. Could have been much worse. Good, let's kill the Viper. Perfect. Hawkbite. Does contribute. Before then. Stunning the guy, nice. Nice. Fabulous. Okay, given that he's stunned, we're actually going to move up here because the warlock could spawn up here. I'm reloading. Ah, banish won't work on the sarcophagus. Oh, yeah. But we can deal as much damage as possible this turn. Potentially not enough to get it fully down. Oh, 
we have a few really nice damage rolls. We're down to nine points of damage. Would banish work on the sarcophagus, we would actually get it down. Does not, unfortunately. And you can't crit it. Let's first of all get his stupid overwatch down. Parrying here. Very good. Reload into getting the Archon down. Which is burning now. Might as well banish him. One. Ah, but the burning should get him. Down to one hit point, yeah. Burning will get him. Wolf found moves up. Shreds the warlock. Moving into position over here, uh, I think we'll actually just suppress the Warlock. And Overwatch. That'll trigger at least one Bladestorm. Oh yeah, more blade storm. Good. The faces ones are going to go down, and it's nice we get more mimic beacon material. Teleport unfortunately will not uh, trigger. He now goes into spectral army because why not? Just summons and summons and summons. One stun lancer, that's all no. There's a second one and a third one. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Well just went from Okay-ish to not so okay. Absolutely. Needing to leave high ground again to get some shots. Okay, well, that's two down. down to one hit point. On the move. Just in case someone moves in here. Let's get this guy down. Listen, as much as I want to just pistol shot and kill this guy, I think that's not the right uh, way to go about it.
Yeah, we do have one of our operatives in the open. Hundred percent shot. Well, you know what? If the guy comes up here, then Hogbug will kill him with Blade Storm. If he moves to the grenade, uh, to the mine rather, the mine will kill it. Good. Perfect. Worked out either way. Hogbite. Ignores his stupid Overwatch. We are continuing to harass uh, the Warlock. On your order. And this might be the kill that we have been looking for. Very nice. Warlock down. Which means we can go to the Sarcophagus. Reload, kill. We need to make destroying our top priority. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Regaining the loot, the the Valerium core. Has become highly unstable. Overwatch. Let's target that chosen with everything we've got. Reload, Overwatch. All right, well, chosen just respawned next to us. Interesting. reach him damn it well we can at least get a bit closer and try to shred him that way 50 50 on shredding okay that's good and that will likely kill him implacable moves up and 100% felt closer than it might have looked like there was a lot of uh, back and forth banter with the warlock if only we could see the look on the elders faces needed to reposition a couple of times the pack specifically the quadruple um, the quadruple archons were not that easy can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, w uh, mm, Hogbite uh, received some damage because of uh, the acid blood of the chrysalid. That is equally stupid, but okay. It is what it is. Spectre um, has weapon specialist, yep, for one extra point of damage. And Wolfhound here I like the emplaced, that's great. Um, light em up is what I, we will take. Um, that allows us to take two shots per turn. Entranched, again, is really good. Minus two hit points when, uh, minus two damage when, uh, when uh, in cover. Uh, two hit points um, extra and more throwing capacity is also not bad. I mean, there are a couple of really good other abilities, but I think uh, we might want to go with Entranced here. Very good. Implacable. <laughs> might get Implacable. But I think we're going for... 
I think we're going for covering fire. Yes, because then we can take Sentinel the next time. Uh, rapid deployment would be good for grenades. Suppress the target, primary weapon, 10 aim. And that, together with uh, covering fire, wouldn't be bad either. That's actually a really good combination and he does have Ever Vigilant. Uh, so he has all of the Overwatch related perks. But I think we're still going to do the rapid deployment because that is a free action and free actions are just incredibly good. Warlock Disru Disrupt the Rifle. Uh, so we have something to do. Um, and we got a bond upgrade theoretically available. But that is where my mission ends and where um, Tabcat's mission starts because he needs to immediately go to the next mission. Thanks for watching today. Guys, it was a good a win for the resistance. Um, and leave a comment uh, down below before heading over to Tabcat's channel. Take care. Bye-bye.